Hello and welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. In today's video we are going to look at all the different vegetables I have growing indoors without soil. I'll show you a couple different types of mediums that I am using this year and which ones I am having the best luck with and which ones I'm probably not going to use in the future. So stick around and I will show you everything that's growing in my little indoor garden. So this here is my pepper plant collection. I had them growing outside the grow tent on my shelf under the lights and they are getting quite big now so I've moved them into the grow tent and they seem to be really liking the nice warm humid atmosphere in here. The jalapeno is coming along nicely. I'm not seeing too many signs of any blooms yet but I think they're going to be coming shortly. Chili peppers still uh, waiting for some blooms to show up on them. And these are all growing in water. I used uh, the rock wool to start all these seeds and the clay balls. So these are a couple of my sweet peppers. This is the Sun Bright pepper. It is a yellow pepper. Sweet pepper as I said. And as you can see here we got some signs of blooms coming pretty soon. This candy cane pepper is also a sweet pepper that I've never grown before. It's probably the biggest plant that I have going right now. I might give it a bit of a pruning. It's loaded up with blooms coming here pretty soon. And I actually cut the hold in the top here a little bit too big and it's starting to fall through because it's getting pretty heavy. So I'm just going to have to do some repair work on my container, give it a pruning, and hopefully we'll see some fruit coming here in the next couple weeks. I'm noticing now that these peppers are also drinking a lot of nutrients so I have to keep an eye on them and top it up usually once a week before they dry out. I find the peppers pretty hardy when you give them a good um, cutting like this and pruning they seem to you know doesn't cause them too much stress they seem to bounce back okay just to get a little more airflow under there so I do have fans running inside the grow tent to help with pollination I find peppers one of the most gratifying indoor vegetables to grow they seem to always do well and flourish and produce some nice peppers so I cut my hole a little too big for this and the weight of the plant is starting to cause it to fall through. So I'm going to just do a bit of repair. So there's how the roots are looking right now. So this here is my Russian Saskatchewan tomato plant that is looking really good. I've brought it out of my grow tent just to give it a bit of a pruning. I want to refresh the, the nutrients a bit in it and also I'm seeing that it's getting quite a bit of a lean to it because it's getting very heavy. So I'm going to try and figure out a way to trellis this inside my grow tent. So I ordered these on um, from Amazon a while ago as something that I thought would be good to to use inside my grow tent when I need to trellis my plants or I was thinking of my cucumbers mainly but I'm looking at these things in this string here and thinking I can come up with some kind of a trellising system for my tomato. Okay so I think I have remedied this situation here for my tomato plant that was starting to fall over because of the weight of the stalk and the size of the plant. So what I've done here is attached a string around um, a larger part of the stalk and strung it all the way up, attached it to some of this piping on the top of my tent. So what I did here is I just took two of these little clips and uh, measured out some string and tied these up at each end. 
so you can see then it's easy to attach to something and detach from something so here on the plant if you can see I put one of these larger plastic rings around the stem kind of at a point where it needed to be kind of supported then I simply just attached my little clip here okay so I think I got this at a good uh, level now here you can see the stalk is nice and straight so hopefully this is going to keep the tomato straight and happy and producing more tomatoes so I think one of my new favorites to use now to start my seeds and grow my indoor uh, hydroponic plants is using the cocoa core here I bought this couple of these little blocks this size here and mixed it up in a small container like this and it's more than enough to use for all my plants I kind of like it because it you know it resembles soil it's not too messy you can see here I got it set up so I usually start out with putting an inch or so of the clay balls in just to kind of hold the cocoa core in it just so it doesn't fall through into the water and then just plant up my seeds and this I just have to keep it moist until it's till the seeds have germinated and they got a good root system established I keep it moist by spritzing it a couple times a day so very easy to plant into so I've seen a lot of videos where they suggest using the perlite as a medium to start seeds in and to grow in using the Kratky method or the DWC method. So that's what I did with this batch of lettuce and I probably won't do it again. I found it really messy. I found that, you know, the perlite falls through the net cups quite easily. So the water's got a lot of that floating around in it. And whenever I spritz the perlite, it would kind of splatter all over the place. You can see it's all over the top of my container here. So I put a layer of sphagnum moss on top to just to kind of hold it down and keep that moist. So I do have some lettuces going here using this medium, but again, probably won't in the future. One th thing that I tried for the first time is radishes. Again, I used the perlite to Put about nine seeds in in the center of this container they look like they're doing really well and i have some bulbs forming here so i should be able to harvest some radishes for my next salad hopefully in another week or so i think the next batch will probably go into some coconut core instead look at the roots here that are coming with this radish and my uh, lattice lettuces here But like I said, I don't really like how messy my nutrient water is. As you can see, it's full of a lot of floating perlite. So, not my favorite, but it works. As you can see here, I also have a cucumber coming that I started up in coconut core. And I'm hoping that I can have success I'm going to try growing this cucumber plant outside the grow tent just on my shelf here under lights and I want to give you an update on my sweet Italian pepper that I did a video on last week it was not doing well it had some stem rot the leaves were turning color it was very unhappy um, and my video was all about treating using hydrogen peroxide which I'm happy to say has given some positive results I think this plan is getting too big to be under the lights it's going to go back into my grow tent but you can see that we have some blooms coming now so I will put it in with my other peppers I've been using my diluted peroxide and water mixture here and giving it a little spritz so I'm hopeful that the problem has been rectified in this pepper and it's going to be able to produce some peppers for me in the next month or so. So this is the container that I set up with and I planted about four tomato seeds in here. They all germinated and sprouted so um, I didn't want them to all 
grow in this one container and rather than killing off the others I took them out and was able to replant them into new containers. So if all goes well I have three more tomato plants going here. So, so far I've been able to enjoy several salads with my lettuce and my onions and some of my microgreens that I have grown. I'm looking forward to a time when I will have tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers also ready to enjoy with my lettuce. If you enjoyed watching this video on how to grow your own food indoors without using soil, I would appreciate you leaving a comment, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next video coming to my channel. Thanks for watching.